Following the DPP's advice that the suspects implicated in the case of late Cynthia Osokogu should be tried at Lagos High Court, Magistrate Olale Kwanaka Basharun has refused to admit to bail some of the key suspects. He wondered whether his court could grant bail when arraignment was still pending before the High Court. The magistrate noted that there was no coordination between the office of the DPP, the magistrate court and the High Court on the case, a situation which has reasonably slowed progress in the case. One of the pharmacists, the third defendant, Osita Oji, earlier released following an initial DPP advice, has however been rearranged on a two-count charge of conspiracy and selling without prescription the poisonous drug which was administered on the late Cynthia Osokogu. He pleaded not guilty to the charges, and despite the objections from the police prosecutor, the court admitted him to bail. Though the bail is granted based on one of the uh, state counts from the people who said he's not opposing that they bear, but police are vehemently opposed so that there will be no case of one of the defendants are missing. All of them should go to high court and face their trial squarely. But it's also pertinent to note that uh, the office of the attorney general of the state was represented in court today to take over the prosecution of this case. So henceforth, the police will not have any imputes except for purposes of uh, maybe testifying. In as much as uh, the family of uh, Mayor General Frank Osokogu is interested in seeing that justice is done in this case, the family is also interested to, en to ensure that innocent people are not uh, made to suffer. Magistrate Akaba Sharon has adjourned further hearing till the 1st of February 2013, but it is expected that the charge against the suspects at the High Court would have been perfected before then, and trial can finally commence in this case. Shola Shieli, Channels Television News.